He is the face of the number one video game company in the world. The most recognizable video game character ever. The video game character all video game characters strive to be. It's me, Mario. The lead in so many classics that any list involving the mustache man would be a tough one. The only rule here, you have to be able to play as the plumber. That works for me. So without further ado, hey, I'm stuttering Craig. And handsome Tom. For Screw Attack's Top 10 Mario Games. Okie dokie. 10. Everybody knows where Mario started. Running, jumping, and throwing fireballs. So why did it take so long for him to return to 2D platforming bliss? The second most popular DS game ever didn't disappoint giving hardcore plumber players all the basics as well as some new toys to play with. Throw in some mindless but fun mini games, and you're golden. The only bummer about New Super Mario Brothers? It's length. Only eight levels long, which can actually be shortened to six with a little bit of skill. Nintendo left us wanting even more 2D Mario greatness. Let's just hope it's not another decade before we see New Super Mario Brothers 2 Turbo Hyper Edition. Number nine. Sticking with the handhelds, Mario's debut on the original Game Boy helped drive sales as a launch title for the lime green screened Wonder Brick. The first Mario game not created by Miyamoto, Mario Land held true to what made the original NES title so great, but now the portable plumber did battle in the occasional submarine and airplanes. This game can't be overlooked. It's the third best-selling Mario game of all time. 18 million copies sold. And I love this game. And I do too. Number 8. Up until 1996, Mario gameplay was fairly standard. And then the makers of Final Fantasy came on board and threw a monkey wrench into everything that Mario was about by making his battles turn-based. What? A Mario RPG? Yeah, and you know what? It was good. Easy to play in a new revolutionary combat system that allowed a second hit with the tap of a button made Super Mario RPG a big hit amongst both role-playing fans and Mario enthusiasts. One of the final Square-produced Nintendo titles of the 90s, this game was so big it packed 32 big megs of memory. Whoa! And that's about the size of a downloadable game on Xbox Live now. Number 7 After the success of Tetris, the only logical step for Mario was to hang up the overalls and put on a doctor's outfit? Named the most rewarding and frustrating play in a Nintendo game by Nintendo Power, Dr. Mario featured some addicting fun and even more addicting music. You like this song, Handsome Tom? As a matter of fact, I do. Wow, Nintendo Power named a Nintendo game good? Who would have thought? Using Mega Vitamins to ward off yellow, blue, and red fevers and chills was awesome in single player, but the multiplayer was what really made Dr. Mario rad. Number 6 By far one of the most successful Mario spin-offs has been Mario Kart. It started with the insanity that was Mario Kart and went to 64, and then to GameCube. But by most people's estimation, the best Mario Kart is on the DS. Why? Because not only can you play your buddies at your house, but you can also play your buddies across the entire world! Wi-Fi's awesome. Wi-Fi made a game everyone already loved and made it crazy better. So the only question is, when will Nintendo learn from the greatness that is Mario Kart and make online play available for other great games, like... Super Smash Brothers. Speaking of... Number 5. Super Smash Brothers is such a damn fine game, but is it really a Mario game? Well, can you play as Mario? Yes. It just so happens you can play as a crap ton of other players, too. The best fighting game Nintendo ever made deserves to be somewhere on the list. The beauty of Smash Brothers is that it took the simplicity controls of the Mario franchise and somehow managed to turn that into a great fighting system. Not to beat a dead horse or anything, but wouldn't that online play we were just talking about work great for Brawl? Yes. Number 4 Before internet gaming was on people's minds, hell, even before the internet was on people's minds, all Nintendo could think about was using its new SNES and its 32,000 colors to make a new 16-bit Mario adventure. Turns out the most important color they used was going to be green to create one of the most beloved sidekicks in gaming history. No, not him. Yoshi. Nintendo was lucky. Sometimes adorable sidekicks aren't received very well. It's a me, Jaja Binks. 
Not only one of the best Mario games, but one of the best overall games in history. The first 3D Mario set the standard for all games looking to make the jump to the third dimension. A camera that gave you total control to see your surroundings of an already extremely well-controlled plumber made Mario 64 not only fun to play, but easy to play. For its time, the graphics were just unheard of for a console game. And the music? Classic. There's a reason why this game was humped by reviewers when it came out. Because the gaming world had never seen anything like it. Number 2! Do we really need to say anything about the original Super Mario Brothers? It set the standard. It led video games back to a massive audience. And even now, it's the most downloaded virtual console game ever. I love this game. I love this game. Everybody loves this game. Without the original, gaming would suck and wouldn't be what it is today. Without the original Super Mario Brothers, Screw Attack wouldn't exist. Alright, let's recap before we get to number one. Number 10, New Super Mario Brothers. Number 9, Super Mario Land. Number 8, Mario RPG. Number 7, Dr. Mario. Number 6, Mario Kart DS. Number 5, Super Smash Brothers. Number 4, Super Mario World. Number 3, Mario 64. And number 2, the original, Super Mario Brothers 1. It's number 1. How can you top the original? Well, if you played 3, you'd understand. A game so big, an entire movie was made to hype its release. So I give you Super Mario Brothers 3! <laughs> that scene still gives me goosebumps. A huge number of power-ups, warps, that huge land with big guys everywhere, incredible graphics. Damn, this game is just incredible. If you have an NES, you have to have this game. And if you've never experienced this greatness, we pity you and your children. You know, you could put Mario in just about anything, and it'd be awesome. Yeah, anything. <laughs>